Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. Today is a very cool day. Today we are going to take a look at a game called The Crust. Now, longtime subscribers of the Glider Cat channel may remember that back in September of 2021, I put together an early preview video featuring this game uh, to highlight what it was all about. It has come a long way in over a year, and they are about to release a demo. I believe it's going to release um, tomorrow. Is it like January 23? 2023 um, as part of a base builder fest on steam but the developers were gracious enough to grant me early access um, i've been excited and waiting for this game for a very long time so let's jump in now we're playing a demo it doesn't have the ability to save so we'll see how much i can get <laughs> how much i can get recorded but let's just jump in it says here hello and welcome to the crust demo the game is under active development, so you may encounter bugs, game crashes, or other problems. Please report them to us using the in-game template. At the time of the release of the demo version, the game has been in development for three years. It reflects a short version of the game and provides a solid foundation for scaling and implementing new ideas. We see further development only in close communication with the gaming community. Your feedback is very important to us. In the current state of the project, you can affect its final result by sending us your ideas, asking for one or another functionality new content will be added to the game and tested together with the gaming community and you could submit your request for new features via the request form thank you for embarking on this exciting expedition all right let's jump in i should mention the game has a uh, really good music but i've turned it off just for youtube kind of copyright issues purposes but it is it is really good i was able to listen to it Okay, we have another just reminder up here in the top right about it's an early version of the game. You can see I'm playing demo alpha version 0.80.3. This is very actively in development. There's been several updates just in the last couple of days. But let's jump in. Let this thing load. Pretty cool. All right, would you like to take the tutorial? We are going to say yes to that. Okay, welcome to the crust. The game takes place at the end of the 21st century. To avert an impending environmental catastrophe, humanity was forced to colonize the moon. It has become both a vital source of resources and a place to house harmful industries away from Earth. You'll take on the role of the director of a lunar expedition right after a mysterious explosion of enormous power on the far side of the moon. You have been hired by the Crust, an association of multiple major space bureaus. It was they who masterminded the, con the conquest of the moon. Your task is to establish an outpost on the moon, reach ground zero, and understand what caused the explosion. Good luck. This must be the crust, the consortium of nations and space programs. All right, welcome to the moon, director. My name is Raymond Ward, and the crust has appointed me to supervise your expedition, follow my instructions, and your first days on the moon should go smoothly. <laughs> We have already prepared an underground lift to help you build your base. <clears throat> there are also two capsules with resources and robot drones awaiting in orbit. Choose to place, choose a place to land the capsules, preferably somewhere close to the lift. To do so, click on the notification on the left side. Okay. Here is where they want us to place these shuttles, landing areas. And then here is our lift, which takes us beneath the surface. All right. We'll click on this guy. Say, you go there, click here, you land here. And then we'll see this animation. It's pretty sweet. So it looks like one shuttle left us eight drones and another shuttle left us a bunch of supplies here. This looks like a big supply area. All right. First, you'll need to establish a steady power supply and stock up on energy to get through the nighttime. Go to the building panel, choose electricity and build the following modules, four solar panels, four batteries and one charging station. All right, let's do it. Let's get on it. Building. Uh, we want electricity. We want solar panels and they want us to do how many of these four. Let's see if we can fit them in. It looks like, is this terrain all flat? I guess it is. Let's, uh, let's do these here. One, two, three, 
four. And he wants to build four batteries. Here are those. We'll leave a little space. Battery, 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 battery. And then one charging station. Let's put that up front. You can see our drones are grabbing supplies here and starting to assemble the buildings. <laughs> Pretty sweet. There's our first solar panel. Let's see if it pops up. Pretty awesome. I like it. I like it. <laughs> that solar panel looks sweet. Very cool. All right. What do they want us to build the charging station? Where is that charging station here? Let's put this, I guess, near the entrance to the uh, lift here. Boom. <clears throat> okay, so it's not enough resources to build the module six times, so their drones are bringing over the resources. Looks like two solar panels are up. Yeah, that just looks awesome. Those those models look pretty sweet. All right, let's speed up time a little bit here. See if we can't get these built. Okay, they're starting to work on the batteries. Let's see if we click on these. Do we see anything? Looks like we can turn them on and off. Get rid of it. And then increase the priority of the building. I guess that would mean like for repairs or something. And they're showing the electricity output. I believe we're going to need to wire these together next. Let's see. We have batteries in the back. Same settings here. And then this guy has a charge indicator. All right. <clears throat> now you need to connect the power sources to each other and power up the lift. Go to the communication panel and select the wires tool. For quick access to the tool, use up oh, a little bit of a typo there or a bug there. I think we go here. Communications, boom, wires. I think we need these electric pillars. Let's see if it will drop them automatically. So if I connect up to solar panels, okay, we can see the highlighted areas. There's this guy. Can I get a pillar? Yeah. Boom. Kind of like satisfactory the way we get little pillars. Let's do more of these. Boom. And I know just from playing a little bit earlier that uh, each one of these has four connections to it. I'm going to put four of those down. And then start connecting these all up here. So battery. Whoop, battery. Battery. And you the battery. I'm going to slow down the speed here just so we don't ruin the tutorial somehow, and then hook up the solar panels to these same power poles. Oop, didn't get it. Boom. Oops, I did that one wrong. Let's clear it. Uh, dismantle wire. This wire needs to go. You. And this one to here, and then this one to this solar panel. This one to this solar panel, and that one's connected to the solar panel. Now we just need to power up the lift. Mission I complete. I think we need to power up this guy too, the charging station. Let's see if I can drop another one of these guys down. Will it reach? Will the wire reach? Uh, that one's already got four connections. Um, how can we do this better? We're gonna have to put power pole here and then get rid of one of these connections. Dismantle this one. Let's hook the lift up to our, oh. What, did I already have one here? Okay, lift up to that, that one to here, and then this one to here and this one to here. We have one extra power pole. I didn't need to build, but maybe that'll come in handy. We'll see what we build over here.
Caden, not bad. Time to explore the underground level of your base. Press tab or the button on the right-hand panel of the interface. Okay, switch to the underground level. Uh, let's get out of this menu. And then they want us to click this little down arrow. Boom. Now we're underneath that lift that we just hooked up. This is the underground level where the main production and living quarters will be located. In order to start production here, you must connect the power supply to the underground level by connecting it to the lift. Okay, so we've already done that. I think we're, we're good there. Okay, now it says build the drone reconfiguration module and assign four drone miners. So let's go into the building menu and production. Mining, here we go. Drone reconfiguration model module. Let's get that put down somewhere. How about right there? <clears throat> Wait for that to get built. I think we're going to have the same issue with power poles. I'm going to put one down ahead of time here. You can't build here. Let's see. Can I build back? How about here? So if we go up to the surface, let's see, we get out of this menu, go up. Drones are grabbing supplies for our buildings down below the lift. Hop on the lift. And then out they come once they make their way down the lift. <clears throat> so they're working away. Let's speed up time. We'll go to double speed. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Waiting on... We need to assign four drone miners, but we need to do power, obviously. Let's do the power first. So from the lift to this power pole, power pole to the drone reconfiguration module. And they want us to do, what, four miners. Looks like we've only have one option. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. That's going to take our regular drones, send them through a process to be refit with drills. Okay, so now we have four mining drones. There's three there. There's the fourth one. Okay, excavate 30 cells. Expand the area of the lower level using the excavation tool. Highlight the area to be excavated. The mining drones will have access to the digging area so they can start work or must have access. All right, clear 30 cells. So let's do mining. And if you look at the bottom of the screen here, there's, we can set how big the kind of the paintbrush is for mining. So if you want a big old chunk like this, let's do it. Free up some room here. Mark all this for mining and our drones should get to it. That looks like more than 30 cells. Let's take a look at our guys here doing their thing. They're chewing away at the walls underneath the surface and they're leaving piles of I believe this is regolith it's just like loose dirt soil and dust rock it's kind of on the, associated with the surface of the moon these guys are chewing that up let's uh, go ahead and speed up time mission complete okay mission complete uh, in the upper right control, you can control the game speed with plus minus and arrows. So we'll just do a quick Mission plus complete. minus. Okay, the first resources you produce need somewhere to store them. Build a pressing machine to produce concrete from the mined regolith and build a general storage. All right, let's do it. Production, there's the pressing module. Let's put that somewhere around here. Uh, and you can see the inputs and outputs. Let's do, I think later on we're going to have conveyor belts. Let's do it like that. And then we need, they want us to put down storage too, right? General storage. Here are the storages and we want general. There it is, a big flat platform here. Where, how about just right next to this guy? That's not going to need power. Boom. 
This guy is going to need power. We have, yeah, we'll use one of the connections off here and then use, save that fourth connection maybe to branch off. In fact, maybe we, we'll see. I think I'm going to put another one here. Another power pole there. I think they can navigate around these things pretty easy. All right, this guy's waiting on power. I kind of want to use this pole here to do it. I guess temporarily we can wire that up. Unless they're going to work on that pole. Okay, this guy's wired up. We'll switch the power around a little bit. We only get four connections, so I want to have room for this guy to expand off to the left and connect to the right. So I kind of want to get rid of this connection. All right, <clears throat> that'll do. While the drones are busy, you should investigate the area around your base. We've sent you a rover scout. We'll land it next to the lift. Okay, I think we have to go up for that. Uh, let's see. Okay, not enough resources. Okay, cargo pod is ready for landing. Let's do it. This is going to bring in our rover. This thing's awesome, by the way. Let's uh, click the landing spot. Here comes a drop ship. There's our rover. That thing looks sweet. That's what we kind of saw at the st one of the starting screens, I think. That's awesome. Uh, we don't have any drones up here, but man, the drones are tiny compared to this. Let's see. We have any, yeah, these guys are all busy hauling materials. While we're down here, let's fix the wires real fast. What I want to do, I want this, not, not that, back, wires, you, this, and then this guy, let's kill off. This one, this one, and let's use this guy to power. Doesn't do anything really different. It just allows me to use this guy to expand out that way or even down. And then this will be just dedicated to powering machines. All right, next, click on the Rover Scout and send it outside the base using the button in the Rover's interface. Okay, back to, we gotta go back to the surface, check out our Rover, we'll click this guy idle at the base and we want to leave the base and our base is pretty much this big area so we'll leave the base rover is going to head out to explore the area outside of our immediate area and this thing is huge. It's about 20 times as big as the normal drones, the little drone guys. Pretty cool. It's just going to go off to the edge of the screen basically and disappear, I believe. Meanwhile, let's see what's going on underground. Okay, yeah, here's our little drones. Mission complete. <laughs> All right, switch to the orbital level to send the rover out to explore the moon. Okay. They're pointing to where we need to go here in the bottom right. Boom, orbital level. Now we can see the whole moon. And it's a center mouse button to scroll this guy around. And this little radar signal, I believe, this I'm zoomed in as far as I can. That's our little rover kind of exploring just outside this base area. Okay, select the rover to send it to an area close to your base. To do so, press the right mouse button on the moon and select Explore from the context menu. Let's try it. We'll just send him out a bit. Uh, that's not it. I need to select him first. Sorry, boom. Then right click. And I think Move To will do it. So off he goes. In fact, maybe we'll do a little bit closer. And then it says, send the rover for a geological scan. Let's speed up time a bit, maybe a bit more once he gets over there. Okay, let's click this guy, right click and do this geological scan. That's what it says up in the top left. Boom. I'm zoomed all the way in. 
Now it's doing a scan. I believe it's scanning for resources. Speed it up a bit, see what happens. Uh, dismiss that. And see each new wave kind of pushes out the perimeter a little bit. Looks pretty sweet. Doesn't look like we found anything though, does it? All right, let's fast forward a little more. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Now there's another scan here too. Let's try this one, scan area, boom. Now we have another scan going. Hopefully the tutorial is not stuck. It usually moves forward from this. Oops, that is not something we want to do yet. Expeditions, I'm not sure what that even is. Send rover to the geological scan. Okay, let's see if we move over a bit. Geologic, uh, move to... I'm gonna try another one of these scans and see if we can uh, get the tutorial to move forward. I believe it should have already. Okay, not enough resources to start production. That's down below where we're making the bricks, I believe is what that message is about. Mission complete. All right, finally, mission complete. Okay, activate scan area on a rover. So now they're pushing us to do the one we just did. Let's do it. It says you can use the rover to scan the area for points of interest, unusual locations that merit a more thorough investigation. First, you need to scan area. All right, scan mission area. Complete. Okay, the wider circle of the radar will show you the approximate location of points of interest. So there it is, the one and points in the smaller radius will be revealed immediately. We have placed a training beacon near your base. Try to pinpoint it correctly. All right, let's get closer to this guy. Select you, right click, move to. Speed up, we're at triple speed. Place training beacon near your base and then get near it and see if you can pinpoint it correctly. So wait for this guy to make his way over there. Meanwhile, back at, back at base, we can take a look. Okay, our drones are doing their thing. I think they're taking storage from the original drop bot pod storage at the start of the game, and they're taking it down underground here and filling up our little storage area. And you can see we have bricks. I think this is silicon. Um, some kind of mechanical parts. I'm not sure what that is. I think these bricks are what are, what is being made in the um, in this machine, our pressing module. Yeah, it's taking 15 regolith, the stuff that they're chewing up, and turning it into three bricks each. Our mining drones are sitting idle. I suppose we could do a little mining while we're waiting for other things to happen. Let's chew out some more space here. Just paint some more stuff for them to mine. We have the solar power, so we should be fine on that. We're probably wasting it by not doing this mining. Hopefully there's enough storage. It looks like there's quite a few storage pads still empty. All right, let's go back to the satellite view here and let's do another area scan. Okay, I guess we gotta go right up to it probably. Okay, investigate maybe? Okay, there he goes. 
Let's investigate the training beacon. It now status now says it's in expedition, so that's kind of interesting. Okay, let's dismiss that. In expedition, we're at triple speed. Let's look at the, was there an expedition? Yeah, start expedition? Training beacon, being investigated. Okay, that looks like that's still doing its thing. Mission complete. All right, training beacon. You now know the basics of interacting with points of interest. That's a good place to start. However, in the future, we expect you to carry out much more complex expeditions. It will require colonists, robots, and various kinds of resources. The choices you make will decide the fate of the whole team and whether you'll be rewarded as a result. Okay. I'm going to turn down the speed for a second here. Each scout rover on the moon generates a small amount of science points. These will be useful for research and unlocking new construction blueprints. Open the research panel. Here's a list of tech you'll need to get started. All right. So that's down here, a little beaker. And it looks like there's three categories up top. Fundamental research. And demo, demo, demo. So a lot of stuff's not active yet. Increased robot speed. I guess they call them robots instead of drones. Um, Expedition Control Center. Allows you to control vehicles outside your base. Whoa, look at all those points, though. 3,500 bluish speakers and 1,200 red. I'm colorblind, so I'm guessing those are blue, red, and green. Capsule landing platform. Increase the mining speed. High voltage power systems. Uh, add your connections to your power poles. Bunch of stuff. Ooh, we got some stuff here in, in Russian, it looks like, that hasn't been translated just yet. Let's go here to engineering. I think this is where we should probably start. Geophysical prospecting unlocks the ore scanner that allows you to scan the surroundings to find rich veins with resources. 250, the blue beaker, and 200 of what I believe is red beaker. I'm just going to click that. It looks like it got queued up here over on the left. Let's go back. Okay, complete the research geo physical prospecting, and then build the ore scanner. So I think we have to wait for all of this. Let's speed up time. Tech tree shows 11, 11, and 11. Research is progressing here. I can see a little progress bar. I don't know if we should be sending the rover out to scan around or not. Let's just send it out a little further. All right. You want us to build the ore scanner next. That, I think, is down below. So now we're underground. Oh, we already found a resource deposit. Silicon deposit. Nice. Let's slow down time. These robots are going like crazy. Okay, build the ore scanner. Let's do it. Buildings, mining, ore scanner. This thing is pretty cool. Let's find a spot. Uh, what is this guy's doing? The regolith? What about over here? Well, hmm. Decisions. Not good at them. Here's one. Let's do it. Uh, let's do it right here. Maybe leave a little space. We know we're going to need power for that. So let me set a power pole down, maybe over here. Hopefully that'll reach. I'm not sure what the range is. Can we connect these? Yeah, we can connect them before they're built, which is kind of nice. Can I power it before it's built? Yep, I like it. I like it. I like it. That's kind of convenient. Might be a bug, but it's, <laughs> it's kind of a convenient one. All right, so we have the ore scanner under construction. We need to select new research. Let's do underground extraction. Unlocks the extracting of rich regolith deposits and allows you to build the extractor. Yep, let's do that. In fact, I think we can queue up research. Let's do this regolith press, pressing one too. And then regolith refinery. So we'll just get those all queued up in the research tree and you can see the first one is slowly, slowly getting researched. Okay, module needs repair. 
Oh, looks like it may have been auto repaired. I didn't do anything. So maybe our robots do that automatically. Yeah, here, module needs repair. Let's Mission see. Complete. Is this going to get repaired automatically? Yeah, it looks like our little robots do it on their own. And then this is where the robots charge up on that little charging station. Okay, once the ore scanner is built, wait for the battery to fill up and scan the area. Then find the nearest iron vein and build an extractor on it. Okay, back down below the surface. Whoops, not above the surface, below the surface, down here. We wait for this battery to fill up. Charge indicator. And then we're going to turn this bad boy on. Check out the model here. Looks pretty sweet. Don't stand in front of it when it's scanning. Okay, we're almost there. Game looks pretty cool. It looks pretty, pretty cool. We haven't even gotten to conveyor belts and all that stuff. Oh, man. Conveyors, one, two, three, four. Underground conveyors, distributors. What else do we have while we're waiting? Okay, we're charged. Let's scan. This is kind of cool. If I pull out far away from the scanner, it's going to scan narrow but far. If I get close, it's going to be broad but not very far. Let's do... Hopefully in the tutorial, they put some iron ore nearby. So let's just see if we can scan the area we haven't cleared out that's close to us. Boom. Um, okay, we have iron right there. At least a little bit. So now let's, um, so this thing's charging again. I'm gonna get rid of this guy. And let's start, get out of that view and let's mine towards that area. That means down this way. And these red areas here, whoops. I'm not sure if this is just like material that we cannot mine through. I don't think we can mine it. See how it won't put a little pickaxe on there? Those might be permanent obstacles or maybe something we need to unlock technology before we can clear that, that material, whatever it is. All right. So our miners, let's see. Let's clear off the other area. We can cancel this mining designation with this erase tool. You don't need your mind in that. Let's get towards this iron deposit. Looks like something's here too, but I can't tell what that might be. All right, we could fire up the scanner again if we want. Let's do it. Scan area. Let's do maybe something like this. We have some more iron over here. In fact, it's even closer. Let's change plans. That's even better, I think. Erase all this mining area. Abort, abort. <laughs> I think this is closer. Let's uh, let's mine here. I don't know. Maybe it's not much closer. Okay. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Here, guys. This way. just need to get a path there. Maybe it wasn't much closer. Who knows? All right. I'm going to go ahead and speed up time. Uh, how's our little scanner guy? He's fully charged. Let's scan some more while we're waiting. Can't hurt to know what's around us. Wow. That was a dud scan there. Okay. These guys are chewing their way to the iron deposit. Some research was completed. Let's do another scan. I'm just going to get the close areas. Okay, we have more silicon there. Wait for this guy to recharge. We're starting to get closer to the iron. Scan this way, maybe a little further out. Okay, more silicon there. Looks like there's something in the distance, but we just don't know what it is. But 
And a little further out here, looks like maybe there. Water, nice. And I'm scrolling as far as I can. That's as far to the uh, right as I can get. I don't know if it'll expand as we move over or not. All right, looks like we're uncovering the iron deposit. Let's get out of this view. Oh, that was the scanner limit. So if I scroll now, maybe we can go even further. Who knows? All right, there's our iron. They want us to place an extractor. Let's see if we unlock that from the tech tree. There it is, extractor. Looks like this may just fit. You can see where the output is. I imagine we're gonna be able to use conveyors for that. I guess this just needs to sit over the deposit. Let's get that constructed. And then this is gonna take power as well. So we need to get power cables out this way. Let me try using the wire to drop it. Okay, that tells me the range. You can see my cursor is way further out. That's as far as the wire will extend. Let's go to one side a little bit. Boom. Mission research complete. They're not letting me build there for some reason. There it goes. Okay, that one built, and let's get it connected up. We need to wait for this stuff to be assembled, then our extractor will have power. Okay, in order to process regolith and produce building materials, you need to build a simple regolith refinery, a smelter, smelting interface, and a pressing module. Pressing module gives you access to concrete very early in the development of your colony, but consumes a lot of precious regolith in return. Its alternative is the smart concrete factory, which consumes slag and silicon oxide instead. Okay. So they first want us to build a regolith refinery. We need to clear out more space. For sure. Let's see. Get out of this screen. Um, we have all those objectives, I think. Regolith refinery and smelting furnace. We already have the pressing module, I believe, right? Is that this guy? Yeah, so we can turn off this tutorial message. Let's drill a little bit of space here just to uh, have room to build things. Get that going. I'll put the timer, the uh, game speed back up. Let's see what this guy's doing. Okay, this guy is mining regolith. But in that regolith, it's rich in steel. It also has slag, silicon, a little bit of aluminum, and a little tiny bit of what I believe is titanium. Let's see if we can build that regolith refinery yet. Production. Regolith refinery. Oh man, I kind of want to close to over here, really. Tell you what, let's take a look at the tech tree while they're clearing out space for us and make sure we have tech selected. We're working on the regolith refinery. That's almost researched. Okay, increase your extractor yield. Wow, look at the uh, little beaker cost of these. 2,700, 4,500, and 1,200. Conveyors, oh man. Hauling drone. Heavy cargo or haul the regolith from the ground. Research complete. Let's do, uh, let's conveyors hopefully we won't break the tutorial i'm kind of hoping for them to free up space here so we have robots that are fetching regolith from the extractor here and feeding it into either inventory or i believe if it's um just this this regolith i guess it's going in to make bricks do we maybe we should stop this guy let's turn the brick maker off seems like we have a lot stacked up there uh, we can see on the resource list we have 125 smart concrete 34 steel 39 aluminum titanium regolith yeah we'll see if we run out of concrete I can always turn that back on uh, maybe I should turn it on right these piles are just going to stay here my bad we'll leave it on 
turn down the speed. Now we have a little bit of room. Let's see if we can build the refinery. I want to belt into this thing, ideally, right? So that one's going to output there. Let's see if we can put this right here. And hopefully our robots can navigate the belts. We're going to need more power poles. Okay, that's now hooked up to power. We might want to go up top while these guys are building. And let's take a look at the battery situation. So these are charging quite a bit. I'm wondering about adding a few more batteries. Or maybe even another line. One, two, three, four. That guy's got four connections already. Let's fix that situation while we're up here. Uh, wire. I'm going to dismantle this one. Boom. Put a new pole down. And then I can rewire these up. U to U. Get rid of that little wire and that little wire. And this will be our main transmission line. And then these will be like the little offshoots that are powering actual devices. So one. Okay, that's all hooked back up. And that allows me to do maybe another array here. Let's do a few more batteries. So under, where would that be? Is it here? Nope. Back into buildings, electricity. Batteries. I'm thinking of doing four more. What are these taken resources? Does it show? Uh, four silicon and one steel. Is that? We have thirty-six silicon. And what was the other resource? Looked like a little ingot. Oh yeah, steel. I think we're okay to do this. Let's add some more batteries. Close the resource list. You can't build here. Okay. Pull here. Pull here. Okay, I'm going to go down to single speed while I do this little side project. Boom, boom, boom. Get these wired up. You to you. And then this will be the main trunk. Okay, that'll get us more battery storage. We'll see. And then we can obviously do another row of solar panels here. Maybe... Not sure how many resources we have. It is kind of demo and we are in the tutorial and I'm kind of straying. But there's always a risk. I'm gonna mess something up. Let's um let's go with batteries to start. And then we'll add solar panels in a little bit if we get messages that we're running out of power. Alright. Is our regolith cool? Do we have belts by any chance? Not yet. Let me just see in the tech tree. Yeah, we're still researching belts. <laughs> we're close. We're close. Uh, I'm getting ahead of the tutorial, though. A little risky. Tell you what. Let's end this episode here. We can get this thing uh, finished and uploaded so you guys get a chance to actually see this today. And then I will continue on. Like I said, I don't think the demo has a way of us to for us to save the game yet. So I'm going to play on. But yeah, that's it for episode one. So far, so good, right? We've gotten to the kind of the satellite view. We sent our rotor out to do some research. We probably should be keeping on with that, actually, and kind of circling our base further and further out and looking for points of interest and things. We'll get to that next episode. And then we did some stuff underground, starting to build out a factory. The tech tree. 
We are on the verge of having conveyors unlocked. That'll be sweet if we can get that set up. And then what else? Boom, boom, boom back. And then we just saw like on the surface of the moon, we started building some energy generation. We have a charging module for our uh, robots. We have a little bit of leftover storage here. I think this is just going to be depleted. Doesn't look like they're adding anything here. There's just a few little scraps left in the storage module. That will probably disappear is my guess. But yeah, off to a great start. For analysis of GladderCat saying thanks so much for watching. Special thanks to GladderCat patrons and channel members. Really appreciate your support of the channel in particular. What keeps this channel alive. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this series on the cross. Super cool game. And the demo is going to be posting very, very soon on Steam. I encourage you to check it out. I think it's only going to be up for a week. So definitely check that out. And I'll see you in the next episode.